Your beauty shouldn't come from outward adornment, but that of the inner self, for that is great worth in God's eyes. Oh, Ellie, I love it. over at my house tomorrow? What's up? I'm, I was wondering when I'm gonna have enough time to finish organizing your closet. Actually, have you noticed Mom and Dad? They seem really worried about something. Uh, no. I'm sure everything's fine. Okay. I'm so sorry. There just really aren't any other options. Your dad has to leave me. But they're just aren't any jobs for him near Raleigh. And there's no way we can keep the house at all. Jesse, ready to go? No. Oh my gosh, Jesse, what is it? What's the matter? We're moving. We're gonna live with my aunt in Wilmington. What? We're leaving tomorrow. That can't be. You can't be moving. I'm getting kicked out. But this is your home. Not anymore. But who's gonna train with me? What about our sleepovers? I'm sorry. Jesse, please, don't go. You can't. I don't have any choice. You always have a choice, Jesse. How could you leave me? You're my best friend. Yes, I am your best friend. Best friends don't do this to each other, Jesse. This is like the most screwed up thing ever. I can't believe I gave that to you. Got it. Everybody have everything?
darling. Oh, I'm happy to see you. Oh, I'm great. You're so big. Look at you. Again. There's my Jesse. Hey, honey. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Let me look at you. Oh, come on, y'all. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. I want to show you your room. So, girls, I know it doesn't look like much, but don't let a book fool you by its cover. It's going to be a great place to live. What's the Wi-Fi password? Ah, uh, we don't have any Wi-Fi. What? Oh, I'm sorry. You know, that might be the greatest drawback of living here. Actually interacting with human beings. Oh, you're going to learn to love life without the interwebs. Human beings are great! Alrighty then. I'm going to go get some suitcases. Hey. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry, Grace. I'll have this room decorated and full of color in no time. Everything's going to be okay, Jesse. Oh, Angel. What is that? I'm starting a new school tomorrow where I don't know anyone, and my best friend in the whole world hates me now because we had to move. Well, that's silly. It's not my fault. Oh, I know, I know. You know, sometimes when people feel scared or a little helpless, they don't know what to do. Sometimes anger just comes out. Thanks, but... You want your friend back, hmm? Then get her back. But you don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> you don't need Wi-Fi to get in touch with somebody. But I can't wait for snail mail. Well, then call her. I can't do that. What if she answers? Oh, oh my angel, my darling. Oh, honey, just get her back. Great, everybody. We're gonna hit the ground running and start this year off with the project. You will be pairing off. Let me see here. Amber, Jesse. Oh yeah, Jesse. There you are. You will be partnered with Ferrari, Sydney. Cool name, Sydney. Oh yeah. There you are. We've also got a Norton Hunter. Good. Paired with. Uh, Hubbard, April. Very good. We've also got... Hey, new girl. Hi, Jesse. I'm Jesse. So, big project, huh? So, I was thinking we should go ahead and get a jump on it so we don't have to cram, you know? So, like, you want to get together after school and work on it? That's thoughtful. Sadly, I can't. I run long distance. Pretty much every day. Oh my gosh. Me too. We should run. I could run with you. Oh my gosh. You'd never keep up. <laughs> really? I'm not so sure. Hey, if you really think you can... Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, guys. This is my lab partner. Jesse. Hi. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is Sophie, Carrie, and Becca. And the other ones don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
nice. You're awesome. Finally, someone I can run with. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh. Hey, losers. <laughs> Show off. Hey, I remember you. <laughs> Anyone need an ambulance? Shut up. Hey, no one talks to my running partner like that. Especially someone as slow as you. Even if she has no style. Dear Ellie, I'm writing this so soon after my last correspondence because I didn't really have time to say everything I wanted to before. I know this move has been horrible for both of us, but I also know we'll both make new friends. I forgive you and I can't wait to hear back from you. I've been taking steps to become a better person, to grow up and not let my life be defined by my past. It's like I'm finding out more about who I really am. I'm ready for this next stage of life, and I know you are too. away. I hope you're doing great and finding amazing new friends. Here's forever, Jesse. Looking good, Jess. What's this? My best friend from home. I've been trying to get in touch with her, but she hates me because we had to move. Wait, what? She blames you because you were forced to move? That's idiotic, you know that, right? Yeah, but I can understand too. No! What kind of friend does that to someone? Making you feel horrible for something you had no part in? Seriously, she doesn't deserve you as a friend. You're so much better than her. Really? Are you for real? It sounds to me like you're letting her hold you back. Well, I gotta go. Don't let anyone slow you down. You're a superstar, Jesse. Let Kat sink in. Nice Halloween costume. I know who you really are, Goody Two Shoes. How long do you think it'll be before Sydney sees right through your charade? Leave me alone. Good comeback, loser. Shoes. You got a problem? Then quit running your fat mouth and swing! Shut up! Nice. Hey, it's Sydney. <laughs> um, Jesse wants you to think that she's not a goody two shoes. What? Have you noticed how much she's changed in just one month? Yeah, it's like she's trying to become someone else. Just to impress you, Sid. But she's not fooling anyone. Is that right, Jesse? Hey, Poser, if you're so tough, why don't you prove it? Slap that girl's purse to the ground. Oh, girl. That was awesome. <laughs> Simply amazing.
amazing. Jesse. Hey, Jesse, what about our bedroom? I'll get to it. I don't know who I am anymore. My family's all mad at me all the time. I don't think anyone understands what I'm going through. You're like the only friend I have left. Hey! We're teenagers. It's a weird time of life, right? But look at you. One month into school and already like everybody looks up to you. Because we're besties. Seriously, girl, as long as you're with me, no one can touch you. You know that, right? You're the best. You're the best. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, you're doing fine. You just need to toughen up a little bit. <laughs> it hurts me to see you so miserable over someone who doesn't deserve you. Just promise me you're through with that Ellie girl, okay? Actually, I deleted a message she sent today without even reading it. You did? Good for you. What is she doing here? Well, Ellie had a day off from school, so Anne and your mom thought this was a perfect time for a visit. So she'll get to go to school with you tomorrow. Mom! No! Jesse. I'm really sorry that we didn't warn you. Anne and I, we've just been really worried about you two, and we thought that this would be a nice surprise. But you have to forgive her. No, oh, I've forgiven her, but I moved on, Mom. That, that doesn't sound like you have. Mom, I can't go to school with her. You don't understand. Well, I would like to, if you would just talk to me. You used to talk to me. You used to understand me. When you're ready to talk, I'll be here. But you can take Ellie to school with you tomorrow. And you will. And that's final. There you are. Who's... Wait. Is this Ellie? This is the friend who gave you that Bible necklace, then tried to take it back and broke it, and then broke your heart over something you had no control over? This is the high quality friend who had you miserable ever since you got here? This is her? Jesse, look at her. You're so much better than this. Good for you, for deleting that email without even reading it. So now you're hosting her? Yeah, I'm a little confused. It's like, I don't even know who you are anymore. You tell me you're through with this trash. Yeah, what are you having, sleepovers now? Look, you tell me one thing, then do another. I thought you really meant those things you said about Ellie. So you're just a big liar then. Will the real Jesse please go home? Come on, Jess. Have some integrity and make up your mind. I can be friends with both of you. No, you can't. Enough! I told you from day one, Sydney. She's a phony. Stop! You're hurting her. Well, yeah, but you don't care now because you're cool, right? You don't hang around dogs like this because you're one of us now, right? Right? Stop it! Stop! What's the matter with you? That's your friend? That's the kind of people you want around. At least she's loyal. I am loyal. You're just mean. I'm happy to be your friend, Sydney, but I'll never crush a person for it. Good luck on your own, I guess. Who's hers? I love it. Me too. 
to know Sydney, I guess I'm realizing, even if it makes me unpopular or whatever, and even when others laugh, it is always best to live yourself. people, many of whom we don't even know, we didn't know before this, would step up and, and do things just to help. Everybody who's ready to take on your job, work on what they need to. Oh, girl! Okay, cut. And a treat. Yeah, and a treat. Let <laughs> me turn off the train. I love the spirit of this crew. It's obviously a very low budget project and there are several people wearing multiple hats and everybody's doing it with a smile on their face and, and Buck is a great mentor. He's been helping everyone learn how to do this and doing it with great patience and kindness and everybody's been pitching in. I've been very impressed with this crew of younger people, 13, 14, some even younger than that that are doing sound and props and and set dressing and all kinds of wonderful things. 26 B take three. <laughs> it's an actual giant like chocolate ball stuck on two little toy sticks. What's up? Wait, I'm sorry. I see so it. many things happen. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. My biggest takeaway, I think, from this whole thing is it's just like the kingdom of God. You know, we all have a different skill and talent and ability that He's given us, and if we're willing to use that and do something with it, He'll use that and make something great out of it. 